being wealthy is a choice. So naturally, to not be wealthy is a choice as well. How much unrefundable time have you given to things that do not matter? According to the Nielsen Wire, the average African-American household spends more than seven hours each day watching TV. That is 40% more than the entire population and nine times more than the average black millionaire. The wealthy, on the other hand, well, they read an average of two books per month. Millionaires believe that in order to earn more, you must learn more. They do not suggest that college is the only option. Most black millionaires did not graduate from either high school or college with honors. Nearly one-fourth failed to complete college in general. Many people think that you become wealthy simply by birth. Well, that's inaccurate. 80% of all millionaires are first-generation millionaires. For example, did you know when Dr. King led the Montgomery bus boycott, there were only five black millionaires? Well, as of the release of this book, 35,000 African Americans held that millionaire status. Research suggests that three primary goals can be found in the mindset of the poor, middle class, and wealth. The poor goal is survival, the middle class goal is comfort, and the wealthy goal is for freedom. It is said that the poor keep score by their cars and clothes, material things that provide brief satisfaction. The middle class keeps score by degrees and titles, but the wealthy, the wealthy keeps score by their bank account. Growing up, I often recall my family members speaking of hitting the lottery, what they would buy if they won. From research done for this book, none of the millionaires interviewed played the lottery. In fact, studies show that the majority of lottery purchases come from black communities. The lottery is simply taxation on the poor. Most millionaires accredit their success to the result of their own thinking. You must first think like a millionaire before you ever become one. I remember Magic Johnson telling Shaq, it is cool to be a superstar, to be the man in LA, but sooner or later, you must start owning things. Now that's what wealth provides, ownership and freedom. Not to simply have an abundant amount of Jordan sneakers, but to be the architect of one's own destiny. With success, there will be misfortunes. Consider that your tuition the price you pay to learn to be successful. There are five wealth building strategies of the black financial elite. Rule one, you will always be your best investment. Rule two, managing your finances is your responsibility. Rule three, get your spending under control. Rule four, pay yourself first. 10% of your net income is the historic rule. Rule five, Make your money work as hard as you do. The wealthy buy stocks. Saving is never enough. These are all great rules which we can all live by. I will also include, choose your friends wisely. When asked, what is the formula for poverty? Ron Brown replied, that is simple. If you associate yourself with non-broke people, sooner or later, you will become number 10. Now, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe for future content. And as always, thank you.